Hey, it's Adon here, AdonCoin.com, where I teach you how to play in Dadgad guitar. This lesson, we're going to learn the major seven chord shapes and the minor seven chord shapes on the Dadgad neck. And we'll have an exercise just to go up the neck all the way up so that we have these rock solid in our head. Uh, I'll also show you how to play these chord shapes in future videos, how to introduce them into tunes. But for the moment, we'll just get these chords rock solid in our head. If you haven't seen my video where I compare these chord shapes to the standard tuning version, I'll leave that in the description below or up here in the corner. That's a handy one to just bridge that gap. So let's get learning these chords. We'll have, we'll start with this F minor seven and this shape, this is the minor seven shape, uh, which is transposable up and down the neck. So we start with our second finger on that third fret of that low D, and then we bar the D and the G string on the first fret with our first finger, and we have our third finger on the third fret of that high A. So that's your minor seven shape. And we can hold that shape, and we can just move it up one fret, and that's our F sharp minor seven. So as I said, it's movable. So we've just moved everything up one fret. Move it up again and we got our G minor seven. So we'll go back down, F sharp minor seven. And we got there F minor seven. So you want what you want to do is just go up the up the guitar neck like this and just just get used to your that shape. Cool, and now we'll go on to the major seven. So this is gonna be our F major seven. So we have that. So the only difference between the um, minor seven and, and major seven is are the the two inside strings, the D and the G. So on our minor, we had it up on the first fret. Now we're just major is now on our second fret there. So F major seven. Second finger is gonna be on the third fret of that low D. Now we have our first finger barring that inside D and G on the second fret. And we have our third finger where it was on that third fret of the high A. So that's our F major seven. We hold that shape and we can bring it up to our F sharp major seven. And likewise up again to our G major seven. And then just get used to that. Just play around with it, go up and down the fret. So we'll go down again, just for the moment. F sh sharp major seven, back down to the second finger on the third fret. It's our F major seven, back up again. F sharp major and G major seven. Cool, so we'll link these together and just have a little exercise for ourselves. So we'll start with this F minor seven, and then we're gonna jump up to the F major seven. And we're gonna slide up to the G sharp minor, G sharp minor seven, and then we're gonna go up to the G sharp major seven. So we'll go through those again, just this is the exercise, it's gonna go all the way up the neck. So we'll start with the F minor seven, might have to shake out your hands if you're not used to these chords, but then we're going up to the major, then we're on to the minor, then we have the major, G minor seven, G major seven, and we're just, that's what we're gonna do, that's the exercise we're gonna do, keep on going up, minor, major, minor, major, and just take your time with it, and then maybe start introducing some strumming as well. Major and minor, major, minor and major, and minor and major. So there's also another way of playing these chords instead of barring that. Just as an example, I thought I'd show you. So instead of barring it with your first finger, if you find that a bit tough, you can play it with your first and second finger instead of barring it and using your third and fourth finger to get those low and high notes. It's a, I figure this is actually a bit tougher. If, if you can practice barring that, I'd say it's, it's your best bet. So let's have a look though at our major where it's not barred. So that's with our first and second finger. For this example, I have it at the F sharp major seven. So first and second finger on the third fret. And then we have the third and fourth finger on the fourth frets of that low D and high A. So that's just another way of going about it. You can go from that 
minor to major. But as I said, the barring is probably the handiest. So. But whatever suits yourself, there's no hard and fast rules with this. So I hope you found that handy. In future videos, I'll show you how to link these chords together into tunes. But for the moment, you just want to get these down. And that's just an exercise up the neck, getting these major sevenths and minor sevenths learned. So I hope you found that helpful. If you did, give it a, a like and subscribe to the channel for more dadgad videos. And I will see you on the next one. All the best.